We'll start at one of my favourite places. My secret hop garden. Hidden away. Surrounded by nature. When I see the first curls of the hops growing at the wires, I know summer is coming. Even when all the green disappears, I don't feel sad because I know the hops are being exported all over the world to make that famous, iconic German beer. Let's leave this beautiful hop garden. Come with me to the nearby town, Vollensach. Look at these buildings, but that's not all they have. In this small town, in the heart of the Hallertau, the biggest, most famous area for growing hops in the world, they have this inspired building built to house the German Hops Museum, das Deutsche Hopfenmuseum. Look, it's designed like the poles you saw in the hop garden. We can go inside a hop and discover so much about the 1,000 year old history of hop growing and beer making in this region. You can see the oldest certificate in the hops industry, the famous Bavaria purity rule, das Bayerische Reinheitsgebot, set in stone and in the hearts of beer makers on the 23rd of April 1516 in Ingolstadt. It is the oldest rule in the whole world that is still followed in the food and drink industry. I'll read it to you in German and then tell you what it means. Ganz besonders wollen wir das Fort in allen Talben in unseren Städten und Märkten und auf dem Lande zu keinem Bier mehr Stücke als allein Gersten, Hopfen und Wasser verwendet und gebraucht werden sollen. The language is a bit more modern than in 1516, but probably my accent will make it sound completely authentic. It means that from now on, in towns and markets and in the countryside, we don't want anything else added to the beer, only barley, hops and water. You can see how the hops were gathered in earlier times and how the most expensive farming equipment machine of all time, the hop picking machine, was invented. And see one of the famous food wagons for the hop pickers. You can visit a beer tasting seminar and learn all about different kinds of beers from all over the world, from beer sommelier like the museum director, Dr. Pinsel, and they organize a shuttle to take you to the train station afterwards. No one expects you to spit out this drink.
They also have concerts here. I perform here myself about once a year in their concert room, which is also an art gallery. It's time to leave the Hallertau now. Soon I'll be taking you inside the oldest building in Dingolfing from 1410, where there's a museum now, and also to see the oldest house on the North Sea island of Fur from 1617. So please do subscribe so I know you're with me and a like is such a kind gesture. I really, really appreciate it. Lots of love from Germany.